A cancer diagnosis of any kind is unsettling, but when the cancer affects the liver, the news is especially troubling. In 2010, over 100,000 patients were diagnosed with cancers that had spread to their liver. Over half of those patients died during that year. For decades, cancer affecting the liver has been regarded as one of the most feared forms of the disease because it is historically hard to treat and the survival rate is so low. Cancers that spread to the liver are difficult to treat because not every patient can have surgery and when radiation is used, it damages the liver more than the tumor. With other types of cancer, physicians have long valued the combination of radiation therapy and drug therapy known as chemotherapy because they complement each other and are often more effective at treating cancer than if they were used alone. Yet traditional radiation therapy is not a good option for treating cancers in the liver. Traditional external beam radiation does not work very well for cancers that have spread to the liver because the normal liver cells are very sensitive to radiation compared to the tumor cells. And so when you give enough radiation to kill the tumor cells, you have unfortunately destroyed the liver. But a recent development in therapy is changing the way patients with cancers in their livers are treated. Called Selective Internal Radiation Therapy, or CERT, the treatment starts from the inside by injecting millions of tiny radioactive microspheres directly into the tumors instead of using external radiation waves or drugs. These spheres become lodged in blood vessels inside the tumor, sparing the healthy tissue that surrounds it. Patients can continue to receive chemotherapy for their cancers that have spread to the liver while they're getting internal radiation to the liver. And in fact, that is one of the best ways to destroy the cancer. The outcomes have been better when chemotherapy and radiation are combined. In addition to the benefits of controlling the tumor better in the liver, many patients tell me that they're very thankful that it's an outpatient procedure, and so they go home the same day, and the side effects are minimal. This treatment offered a lot of advantages to me. Uh, I originally saw a surgeon, and it was clear from the discussion with him that surgery was not uh, really an option for treatment. They could decrease the volume, but they could not deal with uh, the, the small tumors that were spread throughout the liver. Uh, there's also not a medication that I can take that would control the tumors. So when I found out about the selective internal radiation, it seemed like uh, the best option of providing me long-term survival, so it was sort of the best option. So I think that uh, my prognosis is, is relatively good. I've got cancer, uh, and I will always have cancer, but I plan to be alive in 10 or 15 years and doing much of the same things I'm doing today. Having cancer in the liver is a daunting diagnosis for patients and their doctors. But as treatment options continue to improve, so will the statistics. Physicians like Dr. Kennedy are on the leading edge of these developments and are working to help patients live longer, healthier lives. Our mission at Certex is to help patients feel better and live longer through the development of innovative products to treat cancer. Surspheres Microspheres were originally developed in Australia. In 2002, we received FDA approval for the treatment of colorectal cancer, which had spread to the liver. SirSphere's microspheres are about one-third the diameter of a human hair and are injected directly into the tumors through a tube placed into the patient's liver arteries, allowing the radioactive microspheres to become stuck directly inside the tumors in the liver. The unique blood supply of the liver coupled with the radioactive action of the microspheres makes this mode of delivery ideal for treating cancers in the liver. Two reasons microspheres work very well in the liver's blood supply. The first is the blood supply to the tumors is separate from that to the normal liver. So the microspheres will only go to the tumor and the radiation will not penetrate deeply into the liver, therefore sparing the normal liver nearby. When used in combination with chemotherapy, this targeted treatment for liver tumors is having an astounding impact on patient outcomes. So when patients can receive chemotherapy and internal radiation to the liver, many patients can get a reduction in the tumor and some can go on to have surgery to remove any remaining tumor. A wide body of clinical evidence concludes that Sir Spheres microspheres are changing the landscape of care for this hard to treat patient population. The most recent studies show that in colorectal cancer that has spread to the liver, that getting chemotherapy with internal radiation 
controls the tumor in the liver the best. This represents an excellent next step in controlling cancers in the liver that have spread from colorectal cancer. And in patients who have not had complete control with chemotherapy, this, in my opinion, is becoming the standard of care. There's certainly a high level of awareness amongst interventional radiologists. We have more than 400 treatment centers worldwide, and this number continues to increase. Part of our role at Surtex is to expand the awareness to other disciplines in oncology so that Surspheres Microspheres can be offered to more appropriate patients. Surtex are fully committed to ensuring that Surspheres Microspheres become a standard of care for the treatment of cancer which is spread to the liver. We have an extensive R&D program which aims to improve the quality of our product and we also have a, a large clinical trials program with more than 20 trials ongoing around the world. The aim of these studies is to expand into new indications but also, and importantly, to provide additional clinical information supporting our approved indications. Dr. Kennedy is a unique individual. He is technically very correct. He's very knowledgeable about um, the treatment options, but he also gives, in my case at least, he gave me a lot of hope. The first day I met him, I thought, we can fight this. We can do something about it. There was no guarantee it was going to be effective, but, but there was hope that we could fight this. And uh, indeed, that's the way it has turned out. Surtex, giving patients hope in the form of millions of tiny spheres. For more information, visit surtex.com.